All right, and we're back. So uh, what we're gonna do? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and angle the um, the camera down and get ready to start tooling this thing out for you guys and uh, letting you see exactly how this uh, X503 um, uh, actually looks like when it's completed. So let's get cracking. Get some lights going here so you guys can actually see what we are doing. All right, just as in the other video, um, now what I'm gonna do here at first, initially I'm gonna come off of my border, probably about maybe a quarter of an inch, because I'm going to show my camouflage and work where it's gonna cover up that piece. And I just wanna make sure that I get everything lined up and straight. So we can start stamping. And here's the thing. Now, I'm I'm not going to do a whole long video of just stamping this out, but um, so I'll be doing some some pretty much stopping and starting. But just to get you guys started on how it's going to go, and then I'll come back and uh, finish that off and show you exactly how we're doing this. So we're just going to get to started, making sure that everything is lined up. Now with this stamp, you have to stay as straight as you possibly can because uh, in the previous video, I showed you what can happen if you're off just a little bit. And this is in anything in leather work is you want to make sure that you just take your time. Just take your time and see it. You don't have to be in a rush. This is what, where and how we get paid as crafters people is from time, taking your time and doing the same thing. Now, you guys can see this is how we're gonna start. Now, I went at a diagonal line on this particular piece, uh, which is another uh, a little future handy tip, is on any piece that you're gonna use with this X503, draw you a diagonal line and let your basket weaving stamps flow that way as opposed to just going straight. Now you can go straight, but just to give it a little bit of character and a little bit of difference difference uh, from everybody else, you, I always go at a diagonal line. So right here, I'm going to pause the video because you already know the direction that I'm going, and then I'll tool this thing out and then show you just how far we're gonna get from the edge and everything like that. So you guys stay tuned, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Now, um, this is the finished piece uh, of what, uh, as far as I'm going to do on this. And I want you guys just to really see just how that can uh, turn out. Uh, and as you can tell now, when you get to the edge, and this is the part that I was uh, trying to explain in the other uh, video, when you get to your, almost your edge, the only thing that you're going to do is slightly tilt your tool to finish that off to where it'll fade into your bordering line. And that's all that you want to do. Uh, let me see if I can get some light on that. Is you can fade that into your bordering line and that's simply just by tilting your tool. Tilting the tool to get that to fade in the bordering line. Now, once you get to there, once you get to there, ah, trying not to stress and, and elongate my words, then I'm going to come back and follow this up. Uh, I'm going to take my background and tool. Uh, I'm going to use a steep back, uh, backgrounder, and I'm just going to go all the way around this with my backgrounder against my other bordering, uh, my, my other guideline. And then I'll be right back and show you guys another one in just a second. All right, and we're back everybody. And this is just, just to give you about everybody an update on what we were doing. I just took my background and tool and went around that inside channel to kind of fade the, um, the X503. Uh, a little bit. Now I'm going to come back with my camouflaging tool, as you can see here, and we're just going to give it a little bit more character decoration and character. So this shouldn't take long, so I'm not going to pause it again. And I'm just going to make sure that I go all the way around 
and take my time and line everything up and make sure my camouflage tool get a nice deep impression and this is doing exactly what it's supposed to do camouflage camouflage is just covering up the camera, and that's what I one thing that I love about a camouflage tool, it covers up, especially uh, when you are starting out leather crafting. A camouflage tool will cover up a lot of mistakes. A camouflage tool can also be used to cover up a lot of tick bites, range marks, barbed wire scars, um, anything that might have affected that hide um, even if they did a branding onto the cow hide you can use your camouflage tool to cover that up a little bit and now a lot of crafters that I'm seeing out here now they don't even bother with trying to camouflage the the marks on the on the hide okay and here we go boys and girls this is it just to camouflage it a little bit and take it away and then the only thing that's left for me to do to this now this is my back piece that's going on to the knife sheath that I'm designing so technically it will look well just to just give you guys an insight of how this is going to work this is going to be made on a tactical level or a tactical style and it's going to lay out just like that. I think you guys can see that. So I'm going to come back and come with another uh, piece of leather. Let me make sure I get my lines and stuff marked, lined up right. There we go. We're going to put this on a tactical level, a uh, tactical design to where it'll be on a horizontal carry right in the small of the back. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and tool this part out. I think I'm not going to tool it the same as the 503. I'm just going to do a little small inlay uh, and incorporate a little bit of uh, uh, crocodile skin or crocodile hide into this. And then we're going to go back and do some dyeing. But if you guys want to see the finished product on this, then come on back. Check out my, my social media page uh, under Premier Leather Crafters and you'll see the, the finished photos on that uh that'll probably be about another two three days or so before that uh is complete but thank you guys for chilling with me and i think i got something by this pause thing so the videos don't take as long but anyway come on back check out me on social media and um you'll see the finished products on there or the finished piece on that and just chime in with your comments and let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit the subscription button and the little bell that's right beside it. So every time that I do one of these videos, it'll send you out a message. And you can come in and watch the videos. And let me know what you guys think. You know, uh, again, I'm not one to say that I'm not so arrogant to say that I know it all. Uh, it's just the mere fact of getting everybody on the same level playing field. And I just believe that, hey, each one teach one, and then we all can be uh, in this game doing uh, doing some great things. Now, this is the Leather Cowboy right here from Mid Leather Crafters down here in the Dirty South. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.